Welcome to episode number 34 of the Mastering Marriage Podcast, where our goal is to strengthen, unite, and restore your marriage. Amanda Taylor, and together with my husband David, we are the co founders of MendOurMarriage.com. And our goal is to break the back of divorce by bringing married couples together to be accountable, keep the passion alive, and expose the hidden issues that try to rip marriages apart. And we are back in the booth today after a long break with me, of course, Amanda <laughs> Taylor, and my husband, my boo, yo, David yo, Taylor. Yo, 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 yo. Well, hey, guys. <laughs> we are back, okay? And this is our first podcast of the new year. It's a shame it took us all the way up to February to get one done, but we're here. We're back. And first, I would like to say welcome to episode number 34, okay? I hey. mean, we, we bought to this new year. We got some new stuff for you guys. And I'm kind of excited about the direction that Mendel Marriage kind is of. going. Okay, I'm really excited. I know that's um, right. And so today, today is going to be a different type of show because we just want to kind of pick back up where we left off, um, let you guys know what has transpired over this past, what, month and a half since mm -hmm. we did a show, yeah. um, and then let you guys know where we're headed, okay? So um, we may get into some juicy topics today, maybe, maybe not, just depends on how I feel at the end of the show, but in any case, we're going to go ahead and talk a little bit about... Uh, the journey of Mend Our Marriage. You know, we are five months old, yes. you know, and so there's a lot that we've learned about marriage, you know. And so actually, you know what? Let me let's start there. Let's talk a little bit about what we've learned by really working closely with marriages. I mean, five months is not a long time, but uh, dang, we've, we've really been like spending time with couples with mm -hmm. Mendes 90. Yes. Uh, your book dropped. And, I mean, when I say it dropped, it dropped, <laughs> you know, it, it you, it's I, very humbling. Very yeah, it is very humbling. And, wow. and you know what? We we do want to say thank you to everybody who's purchased yes. a copy of Motivated to Love. Thank you so much. Because I mean, we it if it could sell out, it sold out. But it can't sell out because it's, it's a digital e book. book. Yeah. <laughs> but we've gotten so many purchases. I mean, we're so blessed and fortunate for you guys yes, that purchased the book. They just keep coming. They so. keep coming. Yeah. You know, and we and mandy's group is filling up now i mean yes. she got a whole, over what 100 almost 150 women in there yes and for those of you who do not know what he's referring to people <laughs> who uh purchase the book have access to a private facebook group mm -hmm. where i pour into them answer questions and just kind of go on the journey with them yeah yeah and so and that's good because you guys get direct access to the author of the book that's right i mean how many authors actually do that you know what i mean this is this is huge. Now let, let's let's talk about what we've learned in these first five months. Um, and I and I'll start with me. Or do All you right. want to you want to start? You want me to? You got some? Well, I'll just say <laughs> um, I know we just we're actually going to be wrapping up our first uh, Mendes ninety. Yes. And so I'm really really excited about the results from that. About the marriages that have been mended and restored. Oh my goodness. Um, the hardworking people who are a part of the group. Wait till um, y'all hear the testimonials. Yes, yes, <laughs> definitely. Uh, I just want to I just want to shout out to my group. Yeah. To our group, you know, who hung in there for a full ninety days. It'll be yeah. ninety days at the end of the week. So yeah. Yeah. kudos to them. Yeah. But we did learn so much. One thing that I learned is the foundation of marriages is uh, wow um the foundation of of marriages has really you know been neglected mm -hmm. you know i think that what happens is when people get married we get married for the for you know the in love feeling for the emotions and then what happens is when people get into the rough of marriage mm. you know then things start to crack Come because on. the foundation was never really solid amen <laughs> no that's good and you know the foundation i mean you know it has to be a relationship with god it has to be you know knowing and understanding god's love for you and mm -hmm. that you're accepted and you can't be rejected unless you accept that position yeah and you have to have a thorough understanding of you know yourself yeah. and love yourself and really know who you are yeah. in order to be a whole healthy spouse. Yeah, no, that's huge. And that kind of, I'm going to piggyback off that because you're, you're dead on. The foundation is critical. And there are some key components that you need to include in your foundation. One being knowledge. You have to really educate yourself 
on how to have a healthy marriage. Mm -hmm. And kind of going back to what you were saying, baby, a lot of it is knowing yourself, mm -hmm. knowing the intricacies of your soul, you know, really having a thorough understanding of who you are, why you are, and what you're born to do. But not only that, also having an understanding of your spouse, you know, and being able to really be a good student of your spouse, which is something that we teach in Mendes 90. Yes. Because most people get married and they take their knowledge that they have acquired over the course of their life and they apply it to their marriage. Right. And unfortunately, if they don't have the right type of knowledge, they're going to apply it, but it's not going to work, you know? And so that's what we help to do with Mendes 90. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm laughing because our dogs are barking in the background and I don't know if you guys can hear it, but we're going to keep that in. I'm not going to edit it out. <laughs> but anyway, um, so as we're sharing this with you guys, we want you guys to think about some things. Okay. We want you guys to really focus on investing in the foundation of your marriage. Right. Invest in not only yourself, but your marriage. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Mandy's book was pivotal for that. Motivated to love is huge, you know, mm -hmm. and it's huge re regarding helping a person really understand themselves and get right. themselves positioned. And if correctly. I could just interject, interject there, baby, I know that some people probably feel and think and I've seen some comments here and there where people think that I almost like didn't give David a choice, with what, you know, as far as him staying in the marriage. Mm -hmm. And I just you know, just refused to go. So I guess he just decided, you know, to go ahead and stay too. It was not like that, you know. Instead, Motivated to Love is, again, it's about getting to the foundation, to the core. And it's really, you know, pulling out those roots, mm -hmm. like, you know, going back to what I said a little bit ago, you know, about your relationship with God, your knowledge of God's love for you, mm -hmm. who you are, your purpose. Yeah. And, you know, seeing your spouse for who God has created them to be, mm -hmm. not who you see them being right now in that's this bad, in, in a bad season. No, that's good. And, and then I think to me, one of the most important aspects of your book is the strategy. Mm -hmm. The strategy of becoming stronger as a spouse. Exactly. Because your your book is a very, it's different than most books out there. It's very strategic in nature. Mm -hmm. I mean, it gives you tools, literal, literally tools to use to become stronger as a spouse. Right. And, and the book doesn't promise to bring your spouse back if they've left, mm -hmm. but it promises to get you positioned to have a healthy marriage. Yes. It, it, it helps you get positioned to be a healthy spouse. Yes. That's and huge. And then if your spouse decides to go, even though you're, you, you know, you're at your best and at your, then that's know, their pinnacle, problem. Then yes. Yeah. 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 Exactly. And I'm not <laughs> saying that, not minimizing it or nothing, but I'm just saying, I mean, you do got to do what you got to do. Now right. on the topic of books, Guess who else is writing come the book? Come on, come on. <laughs> it's my turn, right? Yes. It's my turn to share what's in my brain. And um, in your I'm heart. in my heart. I mean, man, I'm so excited about this process. And Mandy's giving me, what, 30 days? Yes. You've given me to the end of the month, actually? Yes. To finish my book? Push. So, push. so you guys can be expecting my book literally soon. I mean, it's going down. Mm -hmm. So, um, just, I'm going to be reaching out to you guys because I don't know what the title of the book is going to be yet. So, we want your input. Yeah, we need your input. So I'll be I'll be reaching out soon, so don't worry. But so, yeah, I definitely appreciate you all helping me with the yeah, title of my book. So I yeah. want you to do the same. Yeah, today. this is a family affair, you know. Yes. This we we family here, you know. This is <laughs> this is Mendes Mendes well, I was gonna say this is Mendes ninety. No. This is Mende our marriage. <laughs> but anyway, so I mean, that's kind of what we have learned over the course of the five months. The mo the major points is that you really have to have a solid foundation. Right. That's that's a given. But mm -hmm. we we have learned that there are specific things you have to include. Yeah. And my book actually will highlight a lot of those things that you have to include in your foundation. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's that's kind of my heart's desire to share that. So so be on the lookout for that. Um, but anyway, I know some of you guys, most of you guys, have been wondering where we were. What, why did we take a month and a half off? Mm -hmm. um, and here, look, I'll be honest. Well, yeah, I'll be honest as I can be. A lot of it came down to timing, getting Manny's book prepared, getting Manny's book pushed out, but then also us just not necessarily being as focused on the podcast as we need to be. Mm -hmm. um, and so this is our promise to you guys for the new year is that we're going to be committed to consistent shows because right. you guys won't trust us if we're not consistent. Exactly. So I'll take the first step of saying my bad for not being as consistent with the podcast. You right. know, now the beauty of it is because our audience has grown almost doubled, you know, in the last month um, because of Mandy's book, we the podcast has not slowed down. You know, we've still getting thousands of downloads. You know I mean, it's just mm -hmm. doing relatively well. Yes. Um, and, but that's not enough. We need to continue to, to keep our feet on the gas as we go 
forward in terms of breaking the back of divorce. That's right. Um, and so that's our pledge to you guys is to be consistent with these podcasts. Mm -hmm. That's why today we're, we're putting one out. We came straight from the gym. My arms are like, you know, jelly. <laughs> and, yes. you know, and then also the other thing is we, we're committing to producing more videos for you guys. Yes. So, so really, be on, yeah. we want you to stay tuned because uh, we're not done yet. We're with, not done. With couples fitness. Then. Yeah. And men, men, our marriage has been growing, literally growing. And a lot of that is attributed to Mandy's book. I mean, like she's like a, a celebrity or something. <laughs> I mean, I'm honored. Let me cut get your autograph. Can Come you, on now. Can you sign my chat, my left nipple? I'm sorry. Was that too much? Wow. That was too much. Yeah, you, you yeah. still sign my left nipple. When are we done? No. no. You go turn me down right on air, huh? <laughs> anyway, sorry guys. But okay, so so we talked about Manny's ah. book. Now let's move into Mendes ninety. Because next week, Mendes 90, actually, this is the last week of Mendes 90, right? Yes. Valentine's and so, Day. and so we will be actually opening the doors for registration soon. Mendes 90 is changing a little bit. It's yes. not just for reluctant spouses and motivated spouses. Yes. It's for all spouses. Yes. And the focus is not just on those couples that are extremely hurting, mm -hmm. but it's on couples who want to grow, who want to increase their marriage IQ, exactly. who want to, I guess, be, do more proactive steps mm -hmm. towards preventing the uh, divorce coming up later on in the years. Mm -hmm. And so we, we've really rehauled Mendes 90. It's, mm -hmm. it's, I mean, it's beautiful and we can't wait to share with you guys. We're mm -hmm. the, now here's the only downside is we're only accepting 50 couples. Mm -hmm. Um, and so anybody who hears me that's ready to, that, that want to kind of get on the early bird special, um, send, send us an email and I'll remember it because we haven't opened doors to registration, but I know people have been asking, for Mendes 90, when it's going to start, it's starting, when, when do we say it's going to start? March 1st. March 1st. Oh, gosh. It's starting March 1st, guys. <laughs> um, so we haven't gotten the, the page set up on the website yet for you guys to register. So anybody that's ready to register, send me a message. Email me at david at com, mm -hmm. And just say, I'm, I'm, I'm registering, early bird registering for Mendes 90. Right. Trust me, you don't want to miss out on this one. Mm -mm. You don't want to miss out on this. I mean, we, we're, we're, just wait, just wait. Give me a week. You and hype. We'll, I'm hyped. Give me a week. <laughs> the website will be up and you guys will be able to register. Um, but in any case, we just wanted to say we're back. Yes. We just wanted to do an episode to let you guys know we're back. We've heard you guys. I mean, we're getting emails. Because of Mandy's book, we've gotten so many messages about people who are hurting. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we, we have a lot of new episodes coming up for you guys with a lot of juicy content and, and information to share. Yes, and um, we are still taking questions. Yes, 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 we are. So go to the website, men, mendarmarriage.com. On the right-hand side, mm -hmm. there's a little tab, gray tab, where you can leave a voicemail. Um, if, and, and, yeah, we just want to also say, since we had so many questions from, you know, before we took our hiatus, Mm -hmm. um, if for whatever reason you submitted a question and it was never answered, we still got it. Yes, we still have it. Yeah. You, you can send us a reminder yes. email and just say, Hey, you never got to my question and we'll make sure and bump it up to one of the first shows. Yeah. 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 So, so that's pretty much the gist of the show. I'm still feeling like I want to add some juicy content though, but I, I want to give like, I want to talk about something. Let, let's, what do you want to talk about? Is there anything you want to share? Anything from your group or anything that you, maybe a question that you got that you want to address on air? Anything like that before we leave? Because I, I know people are listening to it on their way to work and stuff. And I don't want to leave them just hanging there, you know. Is there anything you, you know, what, what was maybe one of the biggest issues that you came across when you started working with women directly for your book? I would say the biggest, probably most, um, most common thing that, that has been brought up is just staying strong on the journey to be motivated to love. Okay. Um, you know, dealing with, you know, the harsh words or the coldness or uh, the negativity from the spouse who may be reluctant or wanting to leave or mm -hmm. feeling like they're wanting to leave or feeling like they're no longer in love. So definitely hearing mostly from women, you know, hurt, and, you know, feeling like they can't make it through that process. Mm. And so, of course, I've been there to support them and just be a witness that it definitely can be done. And you have to overflow on the truth, almost overdose on the truth, mm. the truth of, of love. And I know that sounds very simple. Can you give but... us some, some steps to yes, okay, yes. break that um, down for us? So one thing is... Um, Went over my head a little bit. <laughs> and this is part <laughs> of the book. Um one thing that I did that really helped me, it sounds very simple, but it's very monumental, um, is studying love. And what I mean by that is looking up the definition of love. Uh, love is patient. Love is kind. 
Um, love does not give account to a suffered wrong. All those different things, all those different pieces of the definition of love. I mm-hmm. recorded it on a voice recorder on my phone. And I, you know, listened to it on my way to work. I had I have a commute to work pretty much an hour there and an hour back. I would listen to that over and over again and get mm-hmm. it in my spirit. And to where I was literally overflowing with that concept of love. So when I would interact with David, when I would have those, you know, um, I would say conflicts or, you know, he was being cold and, and I had, there was the potential for me to get discouraged. All I heard was that definition of love. Love is patient. Love is kind, Mm -hmm. you know, and even though, even though, you know, my emotions wanted to rise up, it's like, you know, what I had been stuffing myself with and overdosing on was, you know, outweighing those emotions Mm -hmm. so that I could be strong and stand. Yeah. Um, and that's, that's being proactive, right? I mean, that's being very proactive. You're guarding your mind. You're guarding your mind. Yeah. Yes. That's good. And you're combating those thoughts. Yeah. Especially, you know, if you're going to stand, you have to make the decision to stand 100%. Mm. You cannot waver. Because if you're wavering, then, you know, your mind will play tricks on you. Yeah. You have to make the decision and stand firm in it. Another thing that I did, um, I recorded on my voice recorder again, was declarations and positive statements about David. Hmm. Even though David, you know, at times was kind of mean and cold and, you know, distant, you know, what I did is I recorded on on my voice recorder. David is a mighty man. He's a leader. Mm. He's going to be a great business owner, a great great entrepreneur. (laughs) You know, he was, um, you know, he's a great man, you know, and I would just go in on those declarations on my phone and I would listen to those also on a regular basis every Mm. day. And so when I looked at him, I looked at him and saw the potential and what what God created him to be on this earth instead of what he, you know, how he was acting right now in the moment, because I knew it was deeper. I knew that what he was going through was something that only God could reach, you know, only Mm -hmm. God could could heal, only God could deliver him from. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I think what happens is a lot of times in relationships, you'll have one spouse that seems to be the one motivated to push further to love more to to you know hang on tighter and it's not because you're weak it's not because you're clingy necessarily it's just because there's something that's on the inside of you already that was built uh with that extra bit of strength to love so to love unconditionally takes strength it's not weakness Mm. you know any little baby or toddler can yell and scream and be emotional but to be disciplined and love somebody and be objective, you know, about the situation and see them beyond their pain and beyond their surface emotions takes discipline, takes wisdom. When you say be objective, can you, what do you mean by that? Because um, I like that. I like okay. That. So when I say be objective, I'm saying that if your spouse is communicating with you in a negative way, to be able to see past, you know, how they're talking to you, to spit out the bones and really hear what they're saying, hear their heart. You know, and not getting, uh, you know, defensive or offended based, you know, on their words, the things that they're saying to you. Hmm. And that's, that's very true. hard to do, yeah. especially because we've been conditioned to, you know, to operate out of emotions and how people make us, quote unquote, feel. Hmm. That's good. Wow. And you was over there like you really had nothing to say and you started preaching. Well, I had to, I had to you know. We need to I pass the offering plate, y'all. Come on now. Can I dab you? Let me dab you for you. Stop. Get that off. That's what. <laughs> no, but you know what? You're absolutely right, and I wish there was something that I can add to it. But you're you're the you're the you're the author. I mean, you you don't. You there don't... really has to be a culture yeah. shift. Yeah, there you, has to be a a deep. culture shift, a culture change in the way we think about yeah. marriage and emotions, and you know, love being a choice, not just love being emotion. And you know what? I like what you talk about the culture shift because that's why. We, what we do is so important. Mm-hmm. Why what we do here at Mend Our Marriage is so important because mm-hmm. we're really serious about changing that culture shift. Literally, our motto is to break the back of divorce. Right. That's that's a culture shift. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, we're going to be talking about the history of marriage soon. I mean, I can't wait to get to that topic. That's going to be part of the book. But I want to share that early on the mm-hmm. podcast. Mm-hmm. And we're going we're gonna to talk about what marriage, what marriage is really intended for. Right. Because a lot of people, like you were saying, they come into marriage with their own perceptions. With their society's own truth, perception. With society, what they've learned from growing up. Exactly. Like, for instance, me. I never, ever saw a healthy marriage mm-hmm. growing up, even even though I thought that with you, I could have a healthy marriage. Mm-hmm. 
but I never had that model. Right. I, and if you don't have that model, I can only give what I got. Yes. So if I didn't have it, I couldn't give it. Exactly. So, and so then, if, of course, you're going to run when things are not, you know, yeah, going yeah. well. Because or fight, what, fight yeah. or flight. Yeah. 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 So, you know what? This is good. This is good. But what we'll do is we'll let this bleed into to next <laughs> next episode because um, today I just wanted to kind of let everybody know that we're back. We're here. Um, keep sending us your questions. Yes. Keep shouting us out. We yeah. love you guys. Mm -hmm. We are truly, truly, truly committed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And love takes work. It's it's right. not a, a quick fix where you can just snap your fingers and, mm -hmm. oh, my gosh, I'm takes back in discipline. love. It takes discipline it's daily. It's, daily. Not, it's not a secondhand emotion like Tina Turner said. <laughs> <laughs> it's a choice. It literally is a decision uh, that you is. make. It is. Every single day. Every and, single you know, day I make mm -hmm. a decision to love my wife. And if there is anything that you all need from us as far as resources or yeah. things that you know that would help your marriage, you know, become stronger. Or just a prayer. Y'all want us to pray for you guys. Oh, yes, because I go in on those messages yes. you hear me yeah. somebody you know i have people that message me and say can you pray i don't say you know we're just gonna pray for you she goes amen in. i goes right in right there father god in the why name why don't you do that now why don't you say a quick prayer on, on air this is this is the first uh -huh. this is the first uh -huh. but we you, this is how serious we are we're doing what most people that work for marriages don't do mm -hmm. we're taking an extra step so why don't you close out Mm -hmm. in prayer okay oh this is good i can't wait <laughs> jesus jesus <laughs> go on and close out baby this is good all right all right so father god we just thank you and we bless you we thank you for the mend our marriage movement we thank you for each and every marriage under the sound of our voice we thank you for every wife we thank you for every husband and every household lord i just speak into um every marriage right now to speak wholeness and health I just speak healing in the name of Jesus. Mm. I just declare right now that no weapon formed against any of any of our couples out there shall prosper and any tongue risen up against them shall be condemned. I just declare right now a hedge of, prote a hedge of protection over each and every one of them. I just declare intimacy. I just declare uh, wholeness, legacy. I just declare um, a, a greater closeness and passion for one another. I declare that the revelation of love be uh, embedded on their heart and that they understand that love is a choice. Just like, Lord, you gave us the choice to love you. We have to choose to love our spouses. So, Lord, I just thank you in advance for teaching us how to love unconditionally, teaching us the true concept of love, letting us know that we, since we were first loved by you, that we have the strength and we have the know-how and the knowledge and wisdom to love each other, to stand strong in the name of Jesus. Any broken heart, we just declare that it be mended. And uh, we just declare all these things to be so. In Jesus' name, amen. In Jesus' amen. name, amen. Wow. You know what? I, I like. I actually like praying on air. That was pretty pretty decent. Awesome. And so everybody, give us give us your inputs. If you want us to continue praying for you guys on air, mm -hmm. you know, or or you know what, if you if you want us to actually do a specific prayer, mm -hmm. let's say you don't have a question, but you got a prayer request. Yes. Why don't you go ahead and, and send that in? Either do a voicemail, email us, or you know, on Facebook, mm -hmm. and we will actually pray on air. Yes. I'm I'm I haven't even asked Mandy if that's okay to do, but oh, I'm just saying. You know, I'm, I'm just making the you know the decision because I think that was really good, and I, and I, and this is how serious we are about mending yes, marriages. Exactly. So. So I think that's something we should do. Every every episode, we should end with a prayer for somebody. Yes. So give us your prayer request, and we'll pray for you on air. How about that's that? That's right. I Guys. Love it. I love it. Yes, we're done. We're out. But, um, yeah, until next time. All right now. Mahalo, y'all. Deuces. Deuces.